Saturday, everybody. While you guys are out having fun, I was in the gym working out, and I decided to do a video um, for my girl Mellow Girl um, Zero Nine. She asked me um, if I can post something as far as what I do to get in shape, as far as diet and stuff like that, and blah blah blah. Um, I do get a lot of compliments. You know, as far as, you know, my arms, mostly my arms a lot, actually. Um, in my videos, even though a lot of my videos um, is mostly directed towards hair because my channel is a hair channel. So, yeah. So, but I like to share what I know sometimes with other people. You know, it's usually like there are people as they're getting older, they like to share with younger people, you know, so that they can also learn. Um, to someone who's done something or something like that. So yeah, so you know, it's always helpful to learn something from someone. Um, for me, it started back, I've been training for 10 years, but really been training on a fitness level, I would say for two years now. And I've always been thin. Um, I, my nickname growing up, my dad called me Skinny Minnie. So I've always was really, really thin, and I used to get picked on because you know, I had really stick, I had stick legs, I had a big butt, um, and then I had nothing up here. So, you know, the great part of working out is you're able to sculpt your body any way you want. Wherever emphasis you put on one, or you can put it on the whole body, you know, men like to put it up, up on their, low, their upper body and kind of limit their lower body. But I like symmetry, so I work on my whole body. Um, so yeah, it started ten years ago when I first met my husband. I wasn't I was into health because my first husband was into um, health and wellness anyways, and he also worked out. But I really never really worked out because I I felt because I was thin I didn't have to work out, which was really stupid because just because you're thin doesn't mean that you're in shape. So when I met my current husband. Um, it was then I, when I really started taking it to a whole another level. It started when I got pregnant with my second son. I went from um, 119 to 167 in my pregnancy, and I was I was carrying a lot of weight from you know um, five six and a half and very small. So you know I was after I had him I actually had postpartum depression and also too it took me a very long time because um, he, he was my second child to lose the weight my first child she was two pounds eight ounces when she was born so I really didn't get really big but I think sometimes too um, with your first pregnancy a lot of times um, you won't get big like that not I mean some people do but for the most part some a lot of times you'll be all baby weight and that's what I was with my first child. So when I had my son, I carried him all in my hips. My butt got big, my stomach got big, and I really didn't eat bad because um, I ate a lot of like Subway. Subway was my thing when I was pregnant with him. So, but also too, I had a preemie. My my daughter was born three months early. She was two pounds eight ounces, and I was considered a high risk pregnancy with my son. So I did everything possible to um, um, make sure I didn't have, you know, a low baby weight, you know, for my son. So um, he still was considered small. He was five pounds eleven ounces, but I did eat a lot better and healthier. So yeah. So long story short, I went from one nineteen, a size almost a zero size three to a size 9-10, which still isn't, that's actually kind of considered average, so, but for me, it wasn't average, so I wanted to, you know, you think that you're going to have your baby and you're going to go back to your old clothes, and I didn't do that, I didn't bounce back like I did the first time. So, I had postpartum depression, and lost the weight probably almost a year later, but I lost it very unhealthy. I lost it because I was, um, I had postpartum depression, I didn't even know what was wrong with me. And for two, um, I was depressed because, you know, I was living with my in-laws, which I didn't really know very well, and I wasn't getting along with some of the siblings on my husband. So it was, you know, I had to live with them in the same 
house while he was away starting a career, going to school. And I had a six month old baby and had postpartum depression. So I wouldn't really eat that much. So that's how I went from one, I went from 167 to 107, which was really under my weight. You know, I was already little at 119, so can you imagine what I was like at 107? So I started noticing when my husband got back, I mean, he's always been into fitness. I would watch him as I sat on the couch, come home and just feel relaxed and his muscles looking pumped and everything. And I asked him one day, I said, can I go to the gym with you? And he just said, do you want to go to the gym? And I said, yeah, I thought he was going to say no. And he was like, okay, I'll just add you on to my membership. And then I've been going ever since. This was back in 1996. But I was already thin, you know. So when you're already thin, it's easier to see your muscles, you know what I mean? So um, I've been training like that ever since um, until 2007. I then um, gained weight. I went from one, one, normal 119, 120 to um, 140, which is kind of big for me because I don't really think it's big, but for me it was big because I couldn't get into my clothes, and I had a lot of clothes. So um, I was like a three, four, sometimes a five, and I went to a nine. And you know, the thing with fat, you can shove it into a pair of jeans or anything, but you can't shove muscle. Muscle is dense, it's not gonna move. It's not gonna work. But fat, you can shove in anything because it's soft and it's you know, more, more mobile, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but then I started working, I started, my life got really busy. I was still going to the gym, but I wasn't eating right. So yeah, because I worked two jobs and I worked at the mall and I didn't have time to eat a lot of the time because I, I was, you know, I made commissions. So a lot of the time, you know, I wasn't allowed to leave the floor a lot of the times because we were understaffed and things like that. So I was drinking a ton of pop. I don't drink pop anymore. Um, but I was drinking a lot of pop and I was eating like bad, a lot of, you know, sugars and um, stuff like that. So. So that's how I gained my weight, and I got sick of it because I was I was looking at all these clothes I have in my closet, and I'm like, man, I mean, I don't really want to. I had like designer stuff, some designer stuff, new stuff, some stuff for tags, and I'm like, I have a closet full of clothes. I do not want to buy any more clothes. That's expensive, you know what I mean? I don't want to start all over. So I said, um, okay, me and my ex best friend decided to go get on this thing together and motivate each other and get back our, our bodies back, which we did. We started off together, but then we wound up not meeting friends and I wound up moving away and then I might, I, I just went on and added myself. So I've been doing it ever since for like a year and a half, going on two years actually now. And my motivation really came um, back in November 1st um, which is my son's birthday, but also it was the same day that my dad died. And my dad died from um, lung cancer, but he didn't die from the cancer because he had very little cancer. He died from the pneumonia that sometimes these patients get after they get such a huge removal of their lung um, removed. So yeah, um, the, he died from the pneumonia, so yeah. so And the reason why was actually my father was supposed to um, make it, they said in six months he would be fine and down and everything but the downfall um, the impact was that my dad was a smoker for 40 years and my dad always worked his ass off excuse my French but basically my dad always worked very hard for his family he's one of those type of guys and um, he worked all the way even when till he till the end like really like seriously like even when he was in the hospital he just wanted to work he wanted to go back to work so um so basically my dad was told that he wasn't able to work he, he can't work again he's just gonna have to be totally retired he already was a veteran from the navy for 32 years retired but he was still working for the navy the government storing away shit so my dad had this huge compassion towards his military career that he's been involved in and she just he just worked he just believed in working you know i mean as you get older sometimes you don't have nothing else to do but work so that's what he loved to do so when they said that he couldn't do it i saw it in his face that wow i saw that my dad gave up that that moment that that doctor said that he would have to just relax and enjoy his grandkids and blah 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 my dad just it just didn't work for my dad 
but my dad never really worked out. I don't really remember my dad growing up working out when I'm 41. So I, I believe that my dad would have worked out and not smoked for 40 years and um, his, he had the mind to want to fight it, but really his body, you have to have at least a decent, um, you know, health, body health, not just your mental health. Yeah, they go hand in hand with each other. So it was really hard for him a lot. You know, he couldn't really do a lot of things anymore. So, you know, he basically wasn't well enough to fight it, so or healthy enough to fight it. So that's where I really took my fitness to a whole nother level. It was very devastating to lose someone, you know, that you love, you know, when they were supposed to bounce back. And it's just tough. So my dad, um, the day that he passed away, he died in front of me. I was sitting in front of him in the hospital while my two other sisters were sitting on the side of him. And I actually was the one that, you know, I could see him a lot better than the other girls. And I saw him take his last breath. So that's where... I elevated my health and wellness, and I really, from there on, been going strong. And I just used my dad as my example to being healthier, happier. Um, we're supposed to learn from our parents, you know. Um, if you have kids, you, whatever flaws your parents had, you know, you want to improve on them so that you don't make those same mistakes and you be a better parent where they weren't a better parent. Where I'll say for my kids, where I lack, I would want my kids to look at my myself and say, I want to be a little bit better than my mom was in this area with my kids because there's no perfection in life, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, um, when my dad died, I was kind of slacking in the gym. We wound up moving away um, back to the East Coast, and I just really hated my body. I I, I was I had to buy all the clothes like I was wearing maternity clothes just shoving my stomach and stuff and stuff, even though my stomach wasn't super huge, but I had a muffin top, you know what I mean? And it didn't look cute. So I had to, you know, have a few loose baby doll tops and stuff like that until I lost the weight. So I worked twice, I would work out twice a day in the morning and at night. I would not necessarily do weights twice a day, I would do cardio, cardio in the morning and cardio at night with my weights because cardio and weights go hand in hand. Okay, it burns more fat, and your fat turns into fuel for your energy. That's where you get your energy from, is off your fat, it burns it off. And your muscle, the more muscle you have, the more um, fat you're going to burn. Yeah, something like that. So, yeah. Um, so, I got more into um, weightlifting. I, um, my friend was a nutritionist, she explained to me, she was telling me how everyone spends so much time on the cardio machines. She said, yes, the cardio machines will get some of your weight off. She said, it actually benefits people who are more obese. They'll get more weight, you'll see them drop more weight than someone who's just slightly overweight. So I, I kept noticing, I kept hitting plateaus, and she's like, okay, you're going to have to do weights, because weights is where you're really going to, you're going to burn um, your fat. So that's how, once I understood that in food and numbers and calories and your weight, how much protein you're supposed to have with your weight um, and stuff like that, I started understanding how to get more tone, you know, and everything like that. So what I do is, um, you can Google this, YouTube is fantastic for this, if there's anything you want to know, just Google it, seriously. There are so many girls that tone it up on YouTube, those two girls who work out on the beach, they have good recipes, there's Jennifer Nicole Lee, I love, 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 love her, she is the bomb, she has her foodie website for recipes, um, you have um, Susanna Light, who's also known as Charlie James 1975, I think, on YouTube as well. Um, there's so many fitness competitors that are on YouTube. I personally know people who are in the business, so I, I they always post free information on their Facebook. There's Karen Farcelli who owns Fitness for Hers. She's CEO of the magazine, and she's on my Facebook, and she leaves me the most loveliest com, uh, comments. So I learn a lot from them. I eat a lot of oatmeal. I eat oatmeal a lot. I would say maybe sometimes twice or three times a day um, because I need fiber. Um, I don't really eat a huge
huge portion. I eat what the first serving is, um, as far as a half a cup. Um, sometimes I don't always eat all that. It depends on my calorie intake for that day. I eat oatmeal. I eat fish for lunch. I eat um, spinach salad, fish and spinach salad, because fish really helps lean you out. If you're looking to be to lean out, fish is really good for that. I eat tilapia because it's inexpensive, and you can get them in the vacuum bag at um, Walmart, um, Sam's Club as well, Costco, um, Kroger, whatever your grocery stores are. But I get mine from Walmart because I like how I can get a four pound bag, and they're all pre vacuum so I think that's pretty cool. I eat sway, sway I think, here and there, but mostly tilapia. Um, sometimes I eat shrimp, um, sometimes I eat steak, sometimes I eat beef. My red meats help me bulk me up a little bit if I'm looking like I'm leaning out too much. Um, I supplement my protein shakes, and I notice a lot of difference since I've been taking Jet Fuse. And Jet Fuse, Jet Fuse is what I use for my energy because it doesn't have all those those calories and the sugars like people like to do with Red Bull. Those are so bad for you. Those energy drinks that are right there at the cash lap when you're walking out of the store, those have a lot of caffeine and sugar in it, which is not good for you. So I prefer to do Jet Fuse. It's something my husband turned me on to. And it, um, it has very little sodium. Um, that's the only thing about it that I don't like. It does have sodium. And I've noticed it, it's good for recovery. So when you're done working out, not only, you know, you want to have, it's like my pre-workout post-recovery. So um, that's really helped me out a lot. I can't believe how much it's helped me out, my muscle development and for leaning out and stuff. So, yeah, I, I don't eat super healthy. I'm, not, I'm going to be honest with you. But the cool part is because um, I'm healthy and I don't overdo it. Like, I always have my cheat days. Like Saturday, like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I pick one day where I have a cheat day. Sometimes I'll just have a corn dog um, during the week. Sometimes I have it right before I go to the gym. But I know my calorie intake and my numbers, so I know how to manipulate it. I know, okay, I'm going to do my cardio, I'm going to do my weights, but I do a lot of weights. I noticed since I stopped doing as much cardio and I did more weight, I do more weights now. I noticed that I've been leaning out a lot more than I did when I was so stuck on cardio and just mostly doing cardio and not doing my weights. So I'm stronger, I'm healthier. I would just say that for now because the ones who are asking me this are very new to fitness or, you know, they're kind of confused about it. You know, you don't want to just go into the gym and you're not eating healthy because you want to have energy to burn in the gym. You want to be able to last throughout your workout, so that's why your breakfast is super, super, super important. You know, have a protein shake if you're not really hungry in the morning. Have a, sometimes, you know, if I'm waking up early, I'm not really hungry. I'll make um, my uh, ons optimal nutrition. I'll make um, one scoop of protein, which is like 23 or 24 grams of protein, and I mix it with like a cup of water. I put a little bit of um, it's not milk, it's that, that um, well, it's like uh, almond milk, and yeah, almond milk, I put a little bit of almond milk in it, and I put my flaxseed oil, which is for my fat, because you have good fat and you have bad fat. Good fat is like olive oil, flaxseed oil, you know, um, things like that. Um, so I put my flaxseed oil, I just squeeze some flaxseed oil from the bottle in it, into my shake, into the blender. And then I put um, a banana, sometimes I have strawberry, sometimes I even put my oatmeal, like I put a little bit of oatmeal in there for my breakfast because I'm not really hungry at the time. So yeah, so I usually do two shakes a day, so two, that's like two meals right there, and I eat like six times a day. So yeah, and I eat small portions, that's why I eat so often. The smaller the meals, the, the more your, your metabolism is going to kick up. If you're eating three meals a day, which is gonna it's gonna slow your metabolism down, and you're gonna have like a swollen stomach. I mean, it's not really good to eat like that. It's, it's actually bad for you, so I wouldn't consider that. So eat smaller. So basically, that's what I do as far as that goes. Um, if if you want me to get more detail, like in more detail, but um, I'll show you as far as 
my body. I'm not super muscly. Um, I know the video makes people look bigger. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm losing my pants. I had on shorts earlier, so yeah. And this is my abs. So yeah. And I, when I started, I was one, 140. Now, I, I believe I'm back. Actually, I'm heavier than I used to be when I was really light. I'm like 127, 126, and it's because I carry more muscle. If I didn't have it, I probably would be smaller like that. And my legs are pretty. I work hard on my legs because I had stick legs, so yeah. So yeah, so that's the skinny on my workouts, you know. Um, I do a lot of pilometrics, I do a ton of push-ups. If I'm watching, if I'm watching my reality shows, I'm doing push-ups. I'm doing jumping jacks or I'm jumping rope or something in my house. Um, so yeah, I do just I do a lot of rowing at the gym, the rowing. Um, I do stairmaster, I do stepper, I ride the bike. The bike has been leaning me out big time, especially in my abs and my um, and my legs and my thighs. So yeah, so don't underestimate the bike, but you gotta go up and down and weight, up and down and weight. Um, I haven't been doing the treadmill as much as I used to a year ago, but if I do go on the treadmill, I go up at 15, which is the highest incline, and I go, I put it on like 4.2 or 4.4, and I go down to 3.6, and I go up, and I go down. You constantly want to shock your body. So, you know, I do eat, also I forgot, I do eat egg whites. You can buy them, egg whites, and you don't have to crack the eggs if you don't feel like doing that. I eat a lot of egg whites. Um, I eat those um, rice cakes. Um, you go to Whole Foods or um, there's another health store over here, Sprouts. Um, even grocery stores have an aisle for health. You find different snacks that you never would have tried before that doesn't have a lot of sodium or sugars in it too. And that will also help, you know, just be creative, but usually stick to the basics. Like fish, like I said, fish, fish, fish is great for leaning out and it's high in protein and omega-3s and six and it's really good for your skin. Um, it's good for your hair. Um, Make sure you're taking vitamins. Vitamins is very, very important. You want to feed your muscles and your bones while you're working out. That I always do. I always feed my bones. Um, so yeah, so that's it for now. I will do another video um, if you want me to be more detailed, but I just don't want to be so complicated because I don't like complication. I like keeping things simple, stupid, seriously. And if there's anything you want to know, seriously, YouTube is great. There's so many fitness people on here, the ones that I mentioned and everything. So I'm going to leave on that. And I hope you guys are enjoying your Saturday. And you guys have a fabulous night. Bye, guys.